Welcome to the Heart and Soul of Business Leadership Interview Series presented by Wasatch Action Coach. Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Jennifer Wittenauer. I'm the Marketing Specialist with Wasatch Action Coach, and I have with me today uh, Frank Bonham. He is the firm owner of Wasatch Action Coach and a certified business coach. And we also have with us today Jeff Wunderson, and he is a holistic financial practitioner. And uh, Frank has some questions for you, Jeff. Yeah. So, Jeff, let's go ahead and get started. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what you do with your with your business, with your company, and how you help people? Well, I think one of the biggest problems is there are too many people out there that are trying to sell financial products, but they're not dealing with the individual and their mindset and their education level and things like that. So the problem is, if you're dealing with somebody's finances without taking that into account, their chances of success are way, way lower. And there are a lot of people that have an agenda when they're going in. So for instance, you hear of seminars where they're going to talk about tax-free retirement, all they want to sell you is a life insurance policy. And they know that's what they're going to sell you before you go in. And so my approach is I sit down with people and get to know them a little bit more, find out about their mindset, find out about their education levels. And then once we've got that, then we can start saying, okay, what do we need for education? Uh, what parts of your mindset do we need to work with? And then it's a matter of, okay, what is it you want to accomplish? Now, how do we put all this together? How do I bring other resources, like from the Chamber of Commerce, other businesses or other uh, services that can help them? And basically put together a financial package that's going to help them get where they want to go with the mindset and look at the whole big picture as opposed to just a product. Okay. So, so, so what you're saying is everybody is different yeah. and they shouldn't actually just, just buy the same product that everybody else has out there and they should have something that's individualized. Well, like for instance, so I've got somebody right now that's getting ready to retire and people are giving him advice of how he should do it. And the advice is coming from 30 and 40 year olds and it's what might fit them, but it doesn't fit him. Mm. And now he's confused because he's getting all this different advice. And so we need to sit down and go, okay, here's why they're saying what they're saying. Here's your situation. This is why your situation is different. And so this is why we need to look at this for you instead of what they were and all what everybody else is saying. Yeah. I know what you mean. I've always believed that very, very much so um, that there is a reason why there's professionals out there. And, and, mm -hmm. and that is professional experience of um, in, in recent years, decades, um, it's been very common to get a do-it-yourself approach because everything's, <laughs> everything's online, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you can plan your whole finances online. No. And there's a reason why well, there's a pro. You're going to get all okay. kinds of conflicting opinions. You've got some people, some of these radio personalities that are still promoting the same strategies they used in the 1980s. Even though the market has changed, the world has changed because that's what they promoted then. They built an empire on that. They're still promoting that, even though it no longer is necessarily the best approach for most people. Right. Oh, I understand. That's uh, right. So, so what is the biggest unique value you think you bring to your customers? What's unique about you? Well, I help them understand why they think what they think. I help them understand why the different options and solutions we're putting in are going to be a fit for them and help them feel comfortable with what they've got and understand it. So, that's important stuff. Yeah, that's really important. Um, I'll, I'll do a slightly different topic. Um, what do you enjoy most about being a business owner? Uh, I like, I, I really like helping people. I, you know, I've, I've got, of course, I've got times where I struggle and I get, get down and I found that the best medicine, the best solution for me, if I'm not feeling energetic, is to go talk to people. If I'm sitting down talking with people, the passion for what I do starts coming through and I leave the meeting energized. That's a good thing. That's that's a definite value you probably bring to your clients also. Yeah. Is that, that, that approach where you talk to them and communicate everything about it. Uh, what, what challenges have you had to overcome? Well, one of the big challenges, of course, I mean, I'm I'm a, an insurance agent with Wolf Financial Group Insurance Agency. I'm a broker, or a, a broker with, or a registered representative with 
Transamerica Financial Advisors. I'm an investment advisor representative with Transamerica Financial Advisors. Because I've got so many hats, plus I have to deal with all the things, I'm, I'm an independent contractor for all of that. So I still have to run my own business, my own LLC, my own taxes, my own everything like that. Sometimes it can be a little bit challenging to juggle, especially if you got a little bit of ADHD because it's always like squirrel, 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 <laughs> taxes, this, that, the other. And sometimes it's just hard to, to keep the focus where it needs to be. I think everything sort of has a, a little bit of that uh, chasing the squirrel down the rabbit hole. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so what's next for your business? Well, I'm working on some different ways for education right now. So one of the things I want to do is work with the Chamber of Commerce and some of the new businesses that are joining the Chamber. And one of the things our, our company does is we've got a book called How Money Works, mm -hmm. Stop Being a Sucker. And we've got master classes that go along with that. And, you know, you realize how little financial education most people have. They just really do not understand how money works. Right. And if they don't understand, then how are they going to achieve anything? And so we've got master classes geared towards businesses. So what I'm looking to do is talk to some of these businesses with the chamber and see if I can go in and do these master classes for their employees. Okay. Now, you know, a lot of times you'll have these classes by financial companies and it's geared towards selling a certain product. Mm -hmm. These master classes we've got, they have no mention of any company, no mention of any product. No, nothing specific, so it's very agnostic that way, which means I can go in and I don't have, they don't have to worry about there's a sales pitch with it. It's strictly education, and I love that. I love being able to go in and educate people, help them. Now, of course, if I educate them, they have questions, I'm, I'm hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to help them, but there's no sales pitch associated with the education. It's, it's purely education. Okay. And a lot of companies are going to need that. So if I can start doing that, that's a way to grow my business. That's awesome. I, I, I really like when, when businesses are, when people like yourself are really looking forward to saying, okay, what's next? What, 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 where are we going in the future in order to help our community to yeah. grow? Um, so do you have any other events or promotions that you have coming up? Not immediate promotions. We're always trying to uh, get out the book, help help people understand that. Um, just working a lot with the Chamber of Commerce at the networking meeting, to networking lunch today. And mm -hmm. Ran into another person came out and just said, my wife and I just really just don't know what to do and we're confused. And, and so explaining how I help, he was really excited about that because it's not about selling products, it's about education, mindset, getting things right there. And then putting together a plan that's going to work for them. Awesome. If talking about plans or planning, um, you know, if you were to be approached by other new entrepreneurs, somebody wants to wants to start a business, what what advice would you give them? We've actually got a master class that we put together geared towards. It's called E to E, make the move from employee to entrepreneur. Yeah. And so it's an hour master class and it goes through and talks about what they're going to have to do. I mean, they need to find a good mentor. If they're going to jump into something, they need to figure out what, what it is. Have they got a system? If there's no system, it's going to be a challenge. Right. They've got to figure out, okay, how do I approach this? What am I going to do for marketing? There are all kinds of issues. And so they're going to have to figure that out. And that's part of what the master class does is it just, educates them on some of the things they've got to be aware of when they're going to be jumping into being an entrepreneur. Well, yeah, like, like uh, the, the common saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. Mm -hmm. And so until you know that, you can't yeah. ask the right questions. And having that mentor you talked about, having that mentor yeah. in the education, that's mm -hmm. where you get to know the things you don't know so you can well, ask the better questions. And that's what this is about. This, this awesome. class is, it's not going to teach everybody everything. In fact, it, doesn't keep going to depth in a lot of things, but it touches on all the areas they're going to have to figure out if they're going to be successful. And it, I, I like that because too many entrepreneurs jump into things and have no idea what they're getting into. <laughs> you probably run into that too quite a bit. I have run into that a few times. <laughs> I'm a little 
um, uh, at least I don't know just today. So yes. <laughs> so if 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 somebody is wa who's watching this says, uh, "Hey, this sounds interesting. I'd like to reach out and talk to Jeff." How would they How would they reach out to you? Um, find you online. These then find me online www.jeffbunderson.com. Okay, that's probably the easiest way. Okay. Awesome. And they've got I've got the website there, and that's got all my contact information. Okay. Also yes, yes. on LinkedIn and Facebook and awesome. some places. So, but the my, the website's probably the easiest, jeffbunderson.com. Okay. Awesome. Well, that's going to be the end of the first part of our interview okay. here. Now we're going to move on to our our, our lightning round. So I'm going to hand hand the uh, off to uh, to Jennifer. Okay, Jennifer. Okay. Well, thanks very much, Jeff. Do you have uh, a favorite local charity or nonprofit that you like to support or you like, would like to promote? Um, I don't really have a local one. I, most of what I do, I end up doing a lot through through my through the church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, because I, I like a lot of the things they do. And by giving to that, you can give to um, everything from developing water sources in Africa to helping with disasters and things like that. And so that's probably the, the, the one that I would probably list as my favorite. Okay. Do you have a local favorite, a favorite local restaurant? That's a little bit more of a challenge. There are a lot of good ones out there. I mean, I like some, like uh, one, one new one that's in that's really nice here is Bluefin Sushi. It is not one of the half price sushi roll places. It is not one of those. It is a good sushi place. And that's, I like that. Um, Holy Smoke Barbecue. If somebody wants to go in there, the owner, he is amazing. He is there every day and has some great food. So what do you like to do in Utah in the summertime? And also, do you have some a favorite pastime in the wintertime? Well, summer, I've got family up in Bear Lake area. So I like going up to the lake. I like uh, being up in the mountains and the done a lot of hiking up there uh don't do as much camping because my wife is not into that but we will do getaways and just do a little bit to get out in the open and we actually just converted our backyard into a kind of a, our own getaway our own oasis there with a big gazebo and hot tub and, and patio and so that's our new sum, summer fun spot nice well what do you like best about living here in utah I like the, it's just, the nature is amazing. You go most other places and they talk about mountains and you're going, that's a hill. <laughs> and it's, it, you look and you've got the greenery in the mountains. And, I mean, you go up to Bear Lake, one side's got sagebrush on one side of the valley and aspens and pine trees on the other side of the valley. There's so much variety. You get down to Southern Utah and it's totally different. Um, there's so many different things you can see here in Utah that you can't see anywhere else. And it's just, it's just nice having all that within a, a short drive. All right, last question. What is the best piece of advice you've ever been given about business ownership or leadership? I don't know, one that kind of sticks with me and that I've come to appreciate more and more is it is what it is. Because you can spend all your time trying to change something. You can spend all your time trying to fix something. And sometimes the, you know, the best thing to do is just say, it is what it is, accept what it is, and then focus on what you can do. Because there are a lot of things that could just suck up all your time and give you no benefit. So I just say, if there's something like that, just say, well, it is what it is, move on, next. Excellent advice. Well, thanks, Jeff, so much for being with us here today. We appreciate it. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you have a great day. Okay, thank you.